look, it's Red Star Scream. That is not Red Star. You know what? That really is Red Star Scream. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another Transformers figure. It's from Transformers Legacy. It's the Armada Universe Starscream. Now, this was a figure I was very interested in picking up. I've always liked this character. I thought it was a very interesting and fun redesign of the Starscream, a character very different in departure from the original G1, and well, let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at the Legacy version packaging. So taking a look at the package itself, it's one of those open face boxes that I absolutely hate with the cheap paper box itself. I hate this green packaging. It's just terrible. We got the Legacy logo at the top. We get some artwork down here at the bottom. Got some pretty nice artwork on the side. We get the standard kind of poster art there. So just close up, there's the Legacy logo. There he is in box. And there we have the jet mode with the Legacy logo at the bottom. And I do like the artwork on the side here. This looks pretty cool. Very nice, very neat. And then this side's got the kind of standard poster image for this line. Back of the package here has him both in robot and in his jet mode. So just kind of a close up. It says it transforms in 18 steps. And yeah. There he is, looking all kinds of cool, and that's about it for the packaging. Let's get this guy out of box and see what we think. So taking a look at the figure itself, it's actually pretty cool. I like the design. I think it looks like the Armada Starscream. It definitely got kind of the anime look as well as the look from the figure. It stands pretty well. I like the color scheme. I like the paint job. I think they did a good job with that. And uh, it you know, really captures the look and feel of the old Armada toy in a bit of a smaller scale. Now, the one thing I will say, it is very wobbly in the arms and that's from the design. They just shake around because it's on a slide joint, which was terrible. They've got the uh, accessories. So we've got his wing sword, which this was initially red on the original packaging. But I wish it was the actual wing that turned into the sword like the original toy. It's just unfortunate uh, that uh, that happened. But uh, yeah, I guess it's cheaper that way. So just put the sword in his hand. And if you want that look, you can fold the wing backward and kind of give him that look he had. But yeah, it would have been a lot cooler if that wing could have been pulled off and turned into the sword like we had in the original toy that just would have looked a lot better in my opinion but eh, it is what it is it looks okay as it is so we're going to take this out put the wing back here and uh, you also get a, another sword and it's the mini con sword and eh, it just looks too small it should be a little bit longer oh that's what she said but yeah i guess it works it'd have been cooler if we actually got the mini cons to make the sword but uh, yep so those are the two accessories that he comes with and looking at the figure as far as articulation goes, we do have the guns that fold forward like the old toy, but we don't have missiles. That kind of stinks. We don't have any launching missiles or blast effects. That would have been nice to put into this figure. I guess you could put blast effects in it from another figure, but uh, alas, we do not get that here. And um, articulation, his head moves back and forth. Doesn't really move up and down too terribly much. Wings are hinged, obviously. Um, we can go that far up with the arm, rotate around like this. Um, we've got a hinge joint up here, a mushroom peg. We've got very loose arms, unfortunately. We got a really nice double jointed elbow, mainly for transformation, and really nothing at the wrists. And then we do have a waist swivel, but it's kind of uh, hindered by the nose cone. Legs kick that far forward. They kick back really, really far, which is nice. They do splay out really well, like that. We get a twist at the upper leg, but be careful because this mushroom peg can be loose. Uh, we got uh, the knee joint right there. And then, oops, oh, see, there we go. It's 
really comes off easy, so be aware of that. But it goes back on, so not too bad. But the we got a hinge joint at the ankle, and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being his widest possible stance, with both feet still flat on the floor. Now, while I do complain about the loose arms on this figure, again, they just kind of wiggle and jiggle when you get them in the proper transformation pose. They are on a slide joint, so if you look, there's a little pin that these slide back and forth on. So um, this is the way it's supposed to be in robot mode all the way in, but if you push it all the way out to where it's supposed to be in the jet mode, uh, like this, um, so that the arms are at the end of the pins, actually has stability. It does not wiggle, it does not move, and they are kind of locked into place and a lot bit firmer. So that's definitely a lot better. They stick out just a little bit beyond his shoulders, but not enough to make a difference. And I don't know why they even included this into the figure. It's just really goofy. So it's nice and stiff if you have them outward. Again, no wigglage, doesn't move. Uh, looks good, feels nice and uh, solid. Just there was no reason for this pin. So make sure they're all the way out and you're not gonna have an issue with this wiggle and jiggle. Taking a closer look at the figure itself, love the sculpt, love the look. It captures the old toy and cartoon. I think the face sculpt looks nice. I like the reds and the blacks and the yellows. We've got the launchers on his shoulders with the big open yellow and black uh, you know, intakes, and they just kind of launch off the back of the figure like they did way back in the day. I just wish that wing would come off and make the sword. That was just really, really disappointing. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, sculpted well. I like the arms, the color scheme, the cockpit on the jet looks good, the nose cone, the black, that canopy just looks awesome. The light gray on the forearms, all in all, just looks really good and just looks like the figure back in the day. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, again, sculpted well. I love the wings coming out of the shins, the black, the reds, the grays, all look really, really good. And he's got these nice big feet with the uh, heel backs on them, and it gives it a lot of stability and just feels really nice when you're posing him up on the shelf. For comparison, here we have the Armada Starscream with the Studio Series Galvatron that side by side, and he's just a little bit smaller than Galvatron, and interesting to see these side by side. I think Galvatron's a little bit more sturdy as far as construction goes over Armada Starscream, but uh, definitely interesting to see these two side by side. Now, transformation on this figure is actually not too terribly bad, so we're going to take him. Uh, and first of all, what we want to do is uh, lift the back of the arms up, and then we're going to fold the hands in, just like this, close that back. Same on the other side, so we're going to lift that up, flip the hand in, close that back up, just like that. And then we're going to lift this jet piece upward. And then what we want to do next is open up the back of the legs. So you need some fingernails to get in there. Um, I really don't, so kind of a little difficult sometimes. So let's see if we can get this in here. There we go. We get that opened up like that. And then we're going to fold the back of the feet inward like this. Same thing on this side. And then we're going to lift the feet straight up like this. And then what we want to do next is we're going to spin the legs around to the outside like this. And then we're going to fold the wings up to kind of align with the shoulders. So straighten the shoulder, put that up so those are nice and flat, just like that. And we're going to lift the nose cone up, lift out the little wings on the front. Then we want to kind of fold the legs upward. They're actually going to collapse in on themselves. And then we're going to fold the feet up into the panels under the wings. So just kind of work your way up and get those toes into these little panels up under the wings. 
And then we're going to lock the back of the shins together. So you just kind of got to wiggle this in like that. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. If I could get this on camera. There we go. And then we're going to close these two shin pieces together. Again, if I can get this on camera. Um, so we're going to close those to tighten that up. Make sure those toes are in place. Close that. And then uh, we're going to take the arms. Make sure they're all the way slid outward. So push them all the way out to lock into place. And then we're going to lift the arms forward. Full double joint the knee or the elbows. Push those forward like that and just kind of lock them into place. And after you get everything together, push the head down. Make sure that's down. And now we have Starscream in his jet mode. So taking a closer look at the jet mode here, uh, I like it. It looks like the old figure. Definitely dig it. Like the canopy, the black wings look nice. Um, love the thrusters up here, the intakes, the Decepticon logos on the wings look nice. Very cool. Not much robot kibble underneath, which is very neat. I definitely dig that. I think it looks really, really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, you know, looks like the old toy. You can also flip these guns up like the old toy. Unfortunately, we don't have any missiles up here. That would have been kind of nice. But uh, yeah, definitely cool. Like the detail. Definitely uh, reminiscent of the old figure. You can take the swords if you want to and then plug them onto the wings like it shows on the back of the box. I think this looks a little silly, but I guess this is an homage to like the G1 cartoon that had the missiles underneath the wings. So there you go. You can put those on there and uh, have kind of missiles on the wings, sort of. Yeah. So is the Transformers Legacy Armada Starscream something that you want in your Transformers collection? Well, if you're an Armada fan, you're absolutely going to love this. If you're a Starscream completist, then you're probably going to want to pick this up. If you're not a fan of Armada, this could be an easy pass. Me personally, I liked this character. It was one of the toy redesigns I really liked out of the line. It took Starscream and made him very different, but kept him in the essential jet type of form and he was kind of a very gray character in the show which i did appreciate and this is a fantastic homage to him so there he is transformers legacy armada starscream hey guys thanks for watching to watch more ultra maximus click on the links to the right be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.